Okay, we're going to talk about the last in this series. This is the phosphodiesterase inhibitors. So let's talk about this first. Okay, so a 68-year-old male with a history of hypertension, diabetes, and congestive heart failure presents to your office complaining of erectile dysfunction. He tells you that he has suffered from erectile dysfunction for several years now but that he has a new sexual partner and would like to be treated for his condition. You assure him that you can prescribe a medication that will hopefully treat his erectile dysfunction, but you warn him that he must never take his new medication with nitrates since the consequences could be fatal. So the phosphodiesterase inhibitors include um, milrinone and amrinone. So, uh, this class of drug acts by inhibiting phosphodiesterase isozyme 3, a form of phosphodiesterase enzyme found in the cardiac and smooth muscle. The inhibition of this enzyme results in increased levels of CAMP, cyclic AMP, which in turn leads to opening of calcium channel on the surface of the cell. Calcium flows into the cell and leads to increased contractility. Clinical uses. Uh, the phosphodiesterase inhibitors are used in the treatment of acute decompensated heart failure. Yeah. Side effects, nausea, vomiting, cardiac arrhythmias, thrombocytopenia. So, um, other. Um, sildenafil is a phospho phosphodiesterase inhibitor that is used to treat erectile dysfunction, also known as Viagra. It selectively inhibits cyclic GMP, specific phosphodiesterase type 5, which is found in the corpus cavernosum of the penis. The uh, sildenafil uh, causes relaxation of the smooth muscle in the penis, uh, thereby uh, leading to the increased flow of blood into the corpus cavernosum. It is contraindicated in patients on nitrate, as said before, since it can potentiate the activity of these drugs um, and uh, lead to severe hypotension. So that's it for this series. Um, and so that's the phosphodiesterase inhibitors and the drug you might remember is Viagra. Side effects, nausea. Also uh, especially useful for the treatment of acute decompensated heart failure. So, um, let's remember these and do well on the quiz.